Batman Bad Blood held its red carpet premiere this week, and we were on hand to bend the bad ears of the cast and crew about what we can expect from the animated epic. So Batman Bad Blood is the third in this arc that started with Son of Batman. So Son of Batman, Batman vs. Robin, and now Batman Bad Blood. So we're taking the story of Batman with his son Damien and furthering along that. And in this movie, he disappears. And it's, it's the role of Nightwing kind of filling in the role of a world without Batman. The recording itself was great because it was probably the quickest yeah. Batman movie I've recorded because yeah. I've the least to do. That was one of the pleasures I got with this because I could kind of, even when I watched the movie, I could sit back yeah. knowing that I didn't have to carry it and listening to like Gaius and Sean take over as Batman yeah. and Stuart who always nails it every time and Yvonne of course doing, doing Batwoman. She is very sassy. She is fierce and she has kind of that dry sense of humor. She has a lot of one-liners in this that uh, that was a lot of fun to record. I think my favorite would be when she says, uh, your mom's got game. <laughs> I like that you changed like your body <laughs> posture to do an American accent. You're like, your mom's got game. <laughs> I, I like also that she's got that huge backstory and she's got, you know, we explore every aspect of her life in this. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about, you know, a cool action superhero. It's got all the other stuff entwined in it. So obviously we get two new characters in this one with Batwing and Batwoman. How much searching did you guys do to find the perfect voice for each of them? I'm most happiest with the casting on this movie of the ones I've done. Like, they were both perfect. <laughs> so with Yvonne, it was just, can we get her? Is it going to be the right time? Is it, you know? And um, I think Gaius kind of came about really naturally, you know? I mean, um, Wes Gleason, not the the voice director on this said, hey, I think this guy might be the one, and he was right. So obviously you get to kind of play two different characters in this movie. Yeah. How different is it for you prepping to do one voice versus when you get to be in the awesome suit and be battling? Yeah, it was pretty cool going back and forth and even, you know, telling the storyline between me and Luke, or Batwing, Luke, uh, Luke Fox and Lucius Fox and the, the father-son thing. I mean, I got to meet Ernie Hudson in the studio because we actually got to record our scenes together. And then the other folks, um, I met them afterwards and, um, you know, everybody's just so great, so generous. A lot of folks are veterans at this. They've done tons of movies. So this is my first one and, you know, I hope to be able to do it again. Robin's role, I guess, is trying to, to um, of course, uh, with uh, everyone else to uh, define Batman and get him back on track. As we see more as we go on to the story, he's kind of been uh, more uh, bonding with his father and uh, of course with the Batman family, like, you know, Nightwing, someone would be kind of a, a brother for him. And uh, we just see that he's begun to uh, adapt to this uh, side of the uh, of the universe. So obviously for this movie, there is a scene where Nightwing gets to actually become the Batman. Yeah. How much fun was that for you to do? <laughs> it was so much fun. Do you want to know the funniest thing about it though? Um, when we got to that part, you know, we got to that line and I'm like, ha ha ha, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my worst Batman impression ever. I'm gonna make fun of Jason. Everyone in the booth <laughs> is gonna be laughing. They're gonna catch me on B-roll. It's gonna be the funniest moment ever. He just told me that and he was like, when he did that line, he was expecting them to like fall over themselves yeah. in the booth. Yeah. And they were just like, yeah, that's perfect, Sean, let's move on. <laughs> and I was like, what? What? And they're like, that's great, that's great. That's exactly what we wanted. And I was like, oh, all right. But now watching the movie, I was like, oh, it's kind of funny because he gets called out so many yeah. times where they're yeah. like, really? That's all you got? <laughs> you know? so you've done some voices in other DC animated films, but this is kind of the first big supporting. What was right. it like? getting that call and being like, yeah. Oh, so great, so great. I mean, first you ask, you know, what, what film is it and who are you fighting? Uh, being able to fight Batman is always kind of a little dream come true. You know, they tell you the character's name is the heretic. I'm like, man, that's a, that's a great name. Who is he? <laughs> so you, you know, you, you run to Google and you try and find out as much as you can about the character. And if you pull up the image of the heretic, it's like a giant suit of armor with a little baby head, which makes you kind of doubt your existence in this world. Like what, what about that character makes you think that I would be the one to play that? That's not how he is interpreted. And I'm very happy with the way he looks in the film. <laughs> so can I hear the voice that maybe you walked in with? to do Heretic? That was kind of like this, you know, I was ready to be a little baby in a suit of armor. It's kind of like Miss Piggy. And when we fight, we like, hi -ya! I think one of the things for me that was difficult was I wanted to make sure that this was a Bat Family uh, movie. Uh, originally, this title was Bat Family, and I wanted to make sure that we included everybody in there. And even when it culminates in the last action sequence, I wanted to make sure that you know, everybody was there from Alfred to Batwoman to Damien to everybody. And if any, if, if one of them didn't do their job, the whole plan 
plan would have failed, and I wanted to make sure that each one was inter it was an integral part to the to the final climactic battle in order for them to all you know succeed. Well, that's a look ahead at Batman Bad Blood, and if you want more videos like this one, make sure you click subscribe to DC All Access. And make sure that you check out the DC Fans channel for more video content made by fellow DC fans.